We'll guide you through how to use PayPal. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. PayPal is super useful. You could go and pay friends with it. Friends can go and pay you. And you can also go and use it for online shopping as well. And it's got other uses as well. So let's go and get started. First of all, make sure you've gone and signed up for an account. We've got a full guide on how you can do that. Then go and log in to your account. So first of all, you want to go and make sure you've added a card and a bank account. To do that, you can click on wallet in the bottom right. You can then come down here to bank accounts and cards, and you can go and click on add new if you haven't already, or you can go and see the ones you've already added. It's useful to go and have a bank account because it means you can go out and withdraw money to it. And you can go and have a card as it means you can go and make purchases with that. So what you may want to do is go and send money to someone. To do that, you can click on send slash request at the bottom. You can then go to the top and click on the search and you can go and type in their name, username, email address or mobile number to go and find them. And then what you can do is go over to the right and choose the currency and enter how much you want to go and send them. Choose if you want to add a message. You can then go and click on next. Now you can choose how you want to go and pay. At the moment, I've got PayPal balance. I could go and use a bank account or a card, as you can see there. You've got two options on PayPal. We've got friends and family, but also goods and services. Goods and services basically has buyer protection, which means you can get a full refund if an eligible item gets lost or damaged. You do need to go and pay a small fee. A small fee will need to be paid by the seller for this to go and be covered. In this case though, it's friends and family. And so what I can then do is click on send. If somebody owes you money, you can go and send them a request by clicking on request on this page and you can go and choose who you want to send it to and the amount and the currency, etc. Now you may want to go and add money or withdraw money from your account. To do that, you can click on your balance at the top of the homepage. And what you can then do is click on add money if you want to add some or transfer. You can go and tap on add money. You can choose the amount and you can go and continue through. However, if you want to withdraw it, you can click on transfer and you can click on transfer to bank. You've got two options here. I'll go for the quicker option over to the left here. You can then choose your bank account, make sure you've added it as I said earlier, and you can then go and click on transfer now. And like that, it will be withdrawn to your bank account as you can see. A useful feature as well is if you go to the top right of the homepage, you can go and get your QR code. You can scan other people's, but you can click on your code in the top right and other people can scan this and easily go and pay you or you can click on scan and scan someone else's to pay them. If you found this guide useful, then leave a like.